Am I live? I am live. Hey everybody, Punisher Comics here. So uh, I did tell you that uh, I was going to be doing my uh, Montreal Comic Con haul today. Well, here I am. Uh, if anyone decides to pop in, that's awesome. If not, and everyone decides to catch this haul on the rewind, well, that's cool too. Anyway, so um, without further ado, let's get to the goodies that I got. I didn't get much just because uh, I did only go for the Sunday uh, because, uh, one, it's the cheapest day. And also, um, there were some cool guests, but it, it didn't have... It didn't have that impact like it did last year. You know, there was there was a really nice lineup of artists and everything, and even the the celebrity guests in that there was there was quite a few few big names. And this year, it was meh, so so. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna dish out like uh, you know eighty something bucks to go Saturday and Sunday. I'll go Sunday. I'll look around and see if I can get some books and see if I can make, meet some people and whatnot. And that'll be that. Next year, though, I have a feeling it might be good because uh, next year we're going to be celebrating the uh, 10th anniversary of Comic-Con here in Montreal. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the 10th anniversary they get a really, uh, a really good, you know, star-studded lineup. So anyway, so let me get into my, my little folder here. I always bring this to uh, to the cons and whatnot. I keep all my comics and everything in here when I pick them up. So the first thing I got uh, actually is a business card. <laughs> it's uh, from CBCS uh, because uh, they were there this year, which was pretty neat because, uh, for starters, they were a last-minute addition to – the um, guest list or whatever, and, and it was pretty cool because CGC was there as well. So you know you had CGC and CBCS together uh, under the same roof, and uh, yeah, it was pretty neat. Small booth compared to CGC, but um, as you can see here, I got a uh, submission form because I did submit a, a book to get graded. With CBCS, it'll be my first uh, my first book, which is awesome. I'm just gonna check the live chat here. Oh, we're shaking four way. Glad you can make it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I submitted a book to CBCS, and uh, I only submitted one. And um, if anyone's wondering. Uh, like uh, a zillion other people right now, yes, I submitted my Amazing Spider-Man 361, first appearance of Carnage, um, just because I did it. I did it as a fluke. The morning of the con, I was getting my stuff together, and it just so happened I had uh, my drawer open with some books, and it was like right on top. When I took it out. And I was looking at it, and I was like, you know, this book is in really good shape. I mean, crisp corners, beautiful spine, everything. So I was like, you know what? For shits and giggles, I'll bring it to the con with me. Originally, I was going to have it uh, signed by, um, uh, is it Mark Bagley? Mike? Yeah, Mark Bagley. And when I got to his table, I saw a sign there, and it said uh, "Amazing 361 to 364." Uh, he was charging ten bucks to sign them. And basically, when I saw that in my head, I went, "There's your ten bucks." <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, you know, ten bucks just to sign a specific book. No, but uh, so no, so basically, I, I finally found the CBCS uh, table like right towards the end of the con uh, when, when everything was actually closing down. That's how small their setup was. and But it was really nice. The two guys that were there, I was talking with them, and uh, I submitted the book and got some kind of like 
on-site really quick grading as well uh, because I explained to them, you know, the sharp corners and the blah, blah, blah. And the guy was looking it over and he's like, yeah, this is a really in really nice shape. And he said, one thing that I had going for me was a lot of those books, when, when they come out of the, uh, the printer or whatever the heck it is, uh, it happens to a lot of comic books. On the bottom of the book, uh, there'll be like, uh, it looks like puncture marks, like grab marks from, from the machine. Well, my copy doesn't have any of that. So they were saying that's like a, a bonus and everything. To myself, personally, I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm just curious what, what it's going to come back graded as. And I'm just happy because CBCS is a hell of a lot more cheaper than CGC. Anyway, so, uh, no, it was cool. Submitted the book. And then on top of that, I was just sitting there at the table with them. We were shooting the shit, talking just comics in general and everything because they saw some of the stuff I got. And, uh, yeah, it was really neat. So I, I actually felt more comfortable dealing with the CBCS people than I did with CGC. CGC, they just seem very, you know, rush, rush, give us your book. Yeah, okay, that's nice. See you later, whatever, you know. CBCS seems to be more, you know, they like to chat with their customers and everything. I like that. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, that's the, the first thing to show off here. All right, so let's get to some books. So first, um, I have two books in the same plastic. I know, <gasps> big no-no. I'll fix that later. Uh, so first, uh, I got some uh, DC Horror, uh, House of uh, Secrets to be exact. I'm all, all about the, the old school Bronze Age DC Horror stuff. If I, get, if I could get some Silver Age Horror stuff, I'd be really happy. But uh, this... This is an issue I've been wanting for a very long time, and it's solely based on the cover, and when I found it, I was like, yes, I, I felt so achieved when I found this book, and it's House of Secrets issue 123. I love this cover so much, <laughs> so when I saw it, I was like, five bucks? Sure, what the hell, why not? And then on the back here, I have, this is actually a uh, promotional comic. Uh, this is from Niagara Falls Comic Con, Chapter House. So it's Captain Canuck. And what's cool about this, uh, it is co-written by uh, Jay Baruchel. I'm sure a lot of you out there know Jay, you know, Hollywood actor, blah, blah, blah. Myself, personally, when I met him, I kind of fanboyed a bit because um, growing up as a kid, uh, I grew up with him on TV when him and Alicia Cuthbert of uh, Popular Mechanics for Kids. So when I met him and I got him to sign it, and I kind of gushed a bit about that, and he was taken back. He's like, why? He goes, you know, uh I haven't heard people talk about that show in a long time. So he looks at me and he goes, thank you for actually bringing that up. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. And um, I found out this book was uh, only printed for the Niagara Falls Comic Con. Apparently this was only uh, a limited uh, print of like, I think, 500 issues or something. So uh, it's pretty cool to have this. I, I like I like when when it's one of those you know 500 copies only or whatever because it, it it makes it makes you feel special. You're like you know if you get one, you're like I and only 500 other people have one of these unless you know they get it and they decide oh I'm gonna hawk it on eBay or something. But whatever. So so we got those uh, next. Uh, I got my entire five issue run of Avengers 1959 signed. You can see it there in silver. They're actually all signed by Howard Chaikin. There. Uh, he was he was actually one of the big uh, artist guests there this year. Uh, basically, out of all the guests, uh, Howard Chaikin, uh, uh, Mark, I always keep mixing it. Is it Mark or Mike Bagley? Four-way, help me out. <laughs> Is it Mark or Mike? Anyway, 
um, the 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 Spider Man Spider Man guy. <laughs> um, those two were like some of the big guests, uh, like guests of honor, as well as uh, Ken Lashley was supposed. Okay, Mark, thank you. Uh, Ken Lashley was supposed to be there, but he canceled. Um, Jamie Tyndall was there, and there was a bunch of other like other art local, uh, not local, like Yannick Paquette. He's local. He's from Montreal. Uh, you know, like other artists and whatnot, but they weren't like the big, big, uh, big artists. Anyway, and um, so I, I I decided to go to Howard Taken first. And uh, got got all these signed. There was like no one at his table, so it was nice. I got to you know stand there, chat it up with him for for a bit. Um, I'm sure some of you watching, or you know watching, um, you guys usually know that I get some like free sketches and whatnot. Uh, I did not get any this year. <laughs> Uh, just because everyone I asked, it was either, you know, 40 bucks here or 30 bucks there. And I was like, I really didn't have the scratch for, for, for that kind of stuff. But I got pictures and uh, I will be putting a, a little, um, a little photo album together of the pictures that I got at Comic-Con. I'll post them on Facebook. I'll post them on the uh, Punisher Comics Facebook page so you guys can go check that out later on. But, uh, no, it was still cool uh, chatting it up with Howard Chaikin. Really cool guy. Uh, real no-frills, uh, no-shit kind of guy, too. And I love that. So uh, that was pretty neat. Uh, next... I finally found uh, a Brave and the Bold comic I've been looking for for quite a while, and um, again, I had I had the same reaction like when I found this House of Secrets cover. When I saw it, I was like, "Oh!" And that's uh, Brave and the Bold issue number one twenty four. I've always loved this cover because, you know, it's a it's a Brave and the Bold uh, comic. And we see the artist on the cover drawing a Brave and the Bold cover. So, you know, it's that kind of double meaning kind of deal. So uh, I, I always thought this cover was really cool. And, um, well, I, I've seen it numerous times online and everything. And I was like, I'd love to get that in the collection one day. And luckily, last Sunday, I found it. Uh, next, found some more where monsters dwell. That was the main series I was looking for this sun, uh, past Sunday because I am really trying to complete that run. I am, I am dedicated on trying to complete that run. And so I came across where monsters dwell issue number 10. This is pretty cool. We got Gigantus on the cover. And then... Um, I came across where monsters dwell, issue number twenty-five. I've always liked this this cover with the ruler of Earth. Very cool. And I was lucky. I paid three bucks for this issue because of some some water stain or water damage or whatever. Now the vendor had another copy of this, and he was asking, I think, uh, fifteen bucks for it. So I looked at this. I see, you know, there's some wear on it and whatnot. I don't care. For three bucks, I'm getting this. I'm happy. So, uh, yeah, that was really neat. And then I also took part in oh, – wait, hold on a second. Before I get to those, to go back with Chapter House, when I got that uh, promotional comic, uh, they also gave me – this uh, beyond the quest for Medan. I don't know. I don't, I I don't know a lot of the the chapter house characters except Captain Canuck. Or actually, I was looking on their website the other night and I found out uh, they got the rights to Fantoma now, which is really cool because uh, she was a golden age um, a golden age uh, female character that actually came out before Wonder Woman. So really, really cool. And actually, a while back, I did a uh, a lame a lame comic book character video 
on Phantoma. So seeing all that come together and seeing that Chapter House now has a Phantoma series, I was like, that's pretty cool. But uh, no, so we're getting that that um, that Niagara Falls uh, Comic Con uh, exclusive. Uh, they also gave me this uh, Beyond the Quest of Medan. It's square bound. It's it's almost like a like a trade. It 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 reminds me of an Elseworld book. And uh, again, they just gave it to me, so I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't get the guys to sign it though. I just wanted to get that that. Uh, the uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con book sign, but anyway, and then uh, I was lucky enough to uh, take part in two uh, photo ops with uh, my good buddy Ethan. So the first photo op I took part in uh, was with um, Fi Firefly Extraordinaire Nathan Fillion. Of course, myself personally. I, I'm I'm about to uh, be be very honest with the world right now. I have never watched Firefly. I've never watched an episode. I know I know that's like nerd sacrilege right now. I I could just imagine a lot of people when they hear that they're gonna go, oh, "What? You've never watched Firefly?" Nope, never watched an episode. I've never watched Serenity. I know that's the movie. Never watched one second of it. The reason why I was really happy to uh, jump in on this photo op uh, with Nathan Fillion is because Nathan Fillion did a lot of the voice work for a lot of the DC animated movies. In particular, he was the voice of Green Lantern. He's also the voice of Green Lantern in my favorite uh, DC animated movie, which is, of course, Justice League Doom. So uh, when when... When I found out my buddy was doing the photo op with them and he asked me if I wanted to jump in with them, I was like, yeah, sure. So uh, he, he, he tagged me in, in, this, in these pictures. So some may have seen these on Facebook already, but I'm going to show them here anyway. So here I am with Mr. Suave himself. Man, he's such a good-looking guy. Look, that's my buddy Ethan. I'm pointing at Nathan Fillion. Ain't he a good-looking guy? Hot damn. <laughs> and then the second photo op I took part in is uh, pretty much the one that made my Sunday. And uh, I don't know, just just get, getting to meet him and everything was awesome. Uh, so the second photo op I did was uh, meeting John Bernthal. Yes. The Punisher met the Punisher last Sunday, and uh, that was really neat. And this is fitting to be the last thing to show you guys with with the official um, you know series poster dropping today, which looks awesome. Uh, I figured, you know what the hell. So uh, here I am with the Punisher himself, and the the whole flipping the bird to the camera. That's a funny story. That 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 goes in the the mental folder now of of cool con stories. So basically, the reason why we're all doing that is because we we walk in. So he's standing there. So as you can see, me and my buddy were both wearing Punisher shirts. I was wearing a Punisher hat too. You know, I had to really accessorize. <laughs> anyway, so he sees us walk in, and so he sees my buddy's shirt. He's like, "Oh, hey, cool shirt." And he sees my shirt and the hat, and he shakes hands with me. He's like, oh, hey, wow, cool hat and cool shirt, you know? So that was pretty cool. So we're standing there. So we're getting ready to take the picture. So me, I am expecting, like, a, you know, a thumbs up or, a, you know, you know like, a, like a battle stance or some shit like that. So good old Johnny boy here, he leans over to me, and he looks, and he goes, so, uh, you want to flip off the camera? <laughs> I laughed. That's why, as you can see in the picture here, I got this big, uh, big grin on my face. <laughs> um, I, I was like, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." So they're like, three, two, one, and all of us were just like, "Best, best moment ever." 
And after that, we shook hands and, well, we got herded out as the other people got herded in like cattle. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that, that, was, that was that. So I'm happy I got two more, um, two more uh, photo op pics to add to the collection now. Uh, last year was the first time I ever did a photo op, and that was, of course, uh, with my same buddy. And I, I got to meet Ric Flair and Eric Bischoff, which was awesome. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think this whole photo op thing, as long as it's with a buddy of mine, I, I think uh, this may be a recurring thing every so often, depending depending on price and depending on who the guest is. So, uh, you know, it's, it's making for a nice little collection, so, uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to check the uh, chat here. I, I apologize for uh, ignoring it, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we got four-way still in here, and we got 74 screw gun. Hey, how's it going, man? So let's see here. Uh, so glad to be here. Mark, what's up, guys? Hey, screw gun. Man. Uh, the interactions for photos. Well, uh, Nathan Fillion. Oh my God! It was like you walked in. He was like, "Hi, how's it going? Take the picture." Out, because there were so many people in line for him. He was like, there was like um, featured guests. And then there was guest of honor, and he was one of the guests of honor. And I found out like his photo op was like hundred and ten dollars. So myself personally, I would never dish out that much for for a photo like this. But again, like I said, my buddy was doing it. He asked if I wanted to jump in with them. It became cheaper. But uh, yeah, for him, it was like come in, snap the picture out, like like clockwork. John Bernthal, on the other hand. There, there was there was a line, but it wasn't as crowded as it was for Nate, and uh, so that's why when I met John Bernthal, it was nice. We walked in, we were able to you know shake hands, you know chummy chummy a little bit, joke around, flip off the camera, and then shake hands again, you know have a great time, blah blah blah, walk out, you know. So I I actually and not just because he's playing the Punisher or anything. But that's why I actually liked the John Bernthal um, photo op better. I mean, no no hate on Nathan Fillion. He's a really cool guy and everything. But just with um, with the way things uh, you know were were structured and everything, I like the uh, the the Bernthal um, meet <laughs> meet up photo op whatever the hell you want to call it more. So, but, uh, yeah, and now I see, uh, Fan Expo is going to be coming up soon, uh, at the end of this month, so, uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, guys, I'm going to try to actually make it out, so, uh, I know, I know I said, uh, when, when I, when I head out on vacation, uh, the second, second weekend in August, I'm going to be in Boston, and I know Boston Comic Con is going to be going on. So leading up to that, I'm, I'm all gung-ho for actually hitting up Boston Comic Con. But if by chance, uh, when, when I actually head to Boston, if I can't go to Boston Comic Con, I'm not going to be 100% bummed out just because I know at the end of August and you know beginning of September, there's Fan Expo in Toronto, so I'm going to really try this time to hit it up. Um, you know, actually try and find motel or, or somewhere to stay in Toronto. I know that's that's going to be the biggest part. And then just, just head to Fan Expo because this is going to be five years in a row now where I want to go so bad and something always comes up hate it <laughs> but uh yeah i just i just really want to head to fan expo in toronto so damn bad so 
I, I, I'm, I'm strongly thinking that this is the year. This, this is it. This is the year. So, fingers crossed and all that stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I've, uh, I've jibber jabbed enough. Uh, I showed you guys what I had. Again, like I said, I got a haul here. Wasn't exactly super, super fantastic. Not a lot of stuff. But I still managed to get some cool stuff for only going one day. And um, for, for the uh, folks watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, well, don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up. And, um, well, like all the cool cats say, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Alrighty, folks. I'm Punisher Comics, and I am out.